The week's been really great. A lot of students have started uh, actually uh, replying back to us and we are getting a lot of inbound requests and people are saying, wow, it's cool, I love it. And you know, we, sh you know, we should definitely have this on our campus. So it's, it's really exciting to see the amount of enthusiasm we are getting. And we are like getting 30, 40 ma mails every day from students saying, wow, this is awesome. You know, I'll, I'll, you know, you don't have to give me anything. I'll spread it across to my friends. We've got 400 users in just four days and we are trying to increase the number of users per day. A good thing uh, on the client side is we have Microsoft on the call, so that's really interesting. And uh, yeah, we, we were in Buffalo. Um, we had a meeting with uh, a potential investor who's really looking forward to invest in us. So yeah, that's that's pretty good week for us. So we've had this app M3D Scan on the App Store since late January and now we're almost pushing 700 users and it's free. It was really just uh, an experiment to see who would use it. You know, when we put it up there, we were still looking at apparel and it was one of the big reasons we shifted to orthotics and prosthetics because a lot of people were using it to scan patients. Now that we've gone around and gotten a lot of feedback from clinics and manufacturers, we're really focusing on putting all of that feedback into our final version of this app. We're gonna put a price tag on it, do away with the free version and put this online and see if we can monetize any of those 700 users right now. Our app has really been the main driver of our growth. It's been really great to see people just constantly download it. You know, we went from getting two signups a week to five to 10. Now we're somewhere between 10 and 20 a week. People keep downloading it, they're using it. We've gotten almost 600 scans now that have been taken. Um, and we just wanna figure out what it's worth to people and, and you know, offer them this pricing model that we've kind of come up with based on all of our feedback and see if clinics will actually buy this and if it's something that creates enough value for them. Just last week we reached out to 200 groups and uh, out of the 200, 30 are interested in working with us. These 30, um, you know, they are the first where we can really talk uh, with and, and see how we can uh, build something together in their city. Just yesterday I had a, uh, had a call with a university in Boston and uh, they are interested and they want to implement us and uh, have us on board for their students incoming at uh, mid-August. They want to implement it in the welcome bags for the, for the students so that they get an uh, information right away about Hubble and they want to have an own hub. So they want to have an own presence in the app as a, uh, as, a, as a university so that students can communicate with each other uh, on the campus. If all the students would onboard, it's 5,000 students, so it's, it's a lot. When it comes to growth at Startfest, um, many people probably think about growing their user base. For us right now, it's more of growing the idea and growing how to approach uh, this specific problem. So um, it's more this kind of growth instead of user growth right now, but I think, or what we think is that when we figure out exactly this, uh, then we know how to grow also the users itself. Well, we closed deals with a lot of influencers. So we have six influencers in our cohort of influencers right now. Um, and we're going to start with them. Some are going to start tomorrow and some are going to start next week. So what these influencers do, they help people pick lineups. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to make it more interacting for them and we're going to give them the opportunity to have their own uh, contests. We're going to reach around 2 million people a week. For our whole life, life cycle of the company, we have actually um, grown 30% in deposits. You know, so, and, and week over week, it's been going pretty, pretty well. That has shown us that we're going in the right way and we're just keep doing more of it. 
key high point for us was actually yesterday. We um, had spoken to one of the companies that went through Start Fast two years ago. We talked to Justin from Revo PT, and he just gave us some really good guidance and uh, experiences that he had going through physical therapy that kind of opened up the perspective a little bit, and uh, also just some ways to reflect inward. So once we had that, we went up to spin, the Spin Car Mentor, and when we were talking with him, he was just giving us some good advice and saying, you know, how can you clean up the onboarding process as much as possible? Which we've always had this issue with, especially the last two weeks. So what we did, we literally came into this room and we sat down and we're like, okay, where, where is the stop happening? What, and how do we clear that roadblock? And we found out the stop was happening in our funnel when we had to onboard teachers. So we're like, you know what? Let's just make a teacher account and then literally send them one email saying, hey, everything's ready, get your students on board. As of today, everything is fixed, all the templates are changed, all the everything is changed on the back end of the app. So we fixed it last night and uh, we're gonna start experimenting with that. This week has been just a, a roller coaster as usual, but we, we think we made a very crucial decision last night with our experiment that we're gonna run. And uh, I'm very curious next week to see how that experiment resolves out because if this is the tipping point that we've been waiting to just break, uh, it's gonna be fantastic and it's gonna really just send us, send us going forward.